Time now to get over to the kitchen and check in for the first time with our culinary director, Judy Gallagher. Hi, Judy. Well, hi there, Scott. Today I'm doing leftovers. Now, traditionally, the day before Thanksgiving is usually my leftover segment, but I've heard from some viewers, and I'm so glad they wrote me, and they said, you know, I'm not really watching TV. I'm out shopping and around that time or I'm busy cooking, so do it early so we have it. So today, you're gonna take some of the different ingredients that you'll probably have left over. A little bit of sweet potatoes, some stuffing, maybe a pork roast, a little bit of turkey. We're gonna turn it into some really fun things. So you're gonna have delicious paninis and turkey rubens, and I'll show you some of the cool, quick trends that you can do to turn your leftovers into a different creative meal coming up during the hour of the news right here on ABC. So I want to show you some early ideas so you don't have to worry about your leftovers. You'll have the recipes from us to make simple things but big changes. We all want that turkey and stuffing and mayonnaise sandwich at midnight on Thanksgiving, and then we want something different, or at least I do. So here's what I do with some of my leftovers. First, I take some good bread, simple a sourdough, will do and I'm going to take some cheese left over from my cheese course. So I have goat cheese with chives and I have brie. Now I'm going to do a major twist on what is known as a Monte Cristo sandwich which is basically dipped into French toast batter and use turkey and ham. So we're going to use our leftover turkey and I always have a pork roast so we're going to use the pork roast as well. We have the brie so brie goes really well with pears and I have a leftover pear from my harvest salad that I made. Leftover sweet potatoes, look at this. I'm going to take the knife and I'm just going to spread it right on top of the roast pork and then push that down and then right into beaten egg and milk and you beat it really well. Okay, so we've got that. Let's get it over a fairly warm pan, not too, too hot. We don't want it to, to get too brown before the cheese melts. So boom, that's sandwich number one. So what I'm also going to do is, of course, the play on a standard Reuben and we can make a turkey Reuben. Again, thinking about our ingredients that we have so we can have other cheeses. It doesn't have to be Swiss. I had Gruyere left over. Gruyere goes on it. Sauerkraut. And this is one of my new favorite things my son showed me. It's called Just Mayo. You can get it at almost any store. And I use the Chipotle so it really brings the pop out in that. So then we have a turkey Reuben. Maybe you had a roast, tenderloin, or prime rib. You're certainly going to have one throughout the holiday season, I bet, in your home. What I want you to do is cut the ends, just the end tip right here. That goes into a, a jar of chili starter. How great is that for the Sunday after Thanksgiving? Wow, you're going to have chili. And then I'm going to take that leftover horseradish sour cream sauce that I used for the prime rib or the tenderloin, and I'm going to put a dollop on the top of the prime rib. Last but certainly not least, this is an ode to Jack Dylan from ABC who taught me to use my waffle iron for leftover stuffing. This is fantastic, crispy poached eggs on top. The next morning makes a great brunch. So enjoy your leftovers, but don't worry, you have a few weeks left to go of cooking on Thanksgiving. We'll be back in just a few moments.